inside look on the floor, first look at the 2024 Lynx snowmobiles. We're waiting to shoot the intro right now because there's an epic scene in me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lynx Club 2024 launch of the new 2024 uh, products from Lynx and other BRP uh, brands. We're here, live look, I mean, it's quiet in here. This is gonna be full of people very, very soon and uh, pretty special that we get to check it out first. Let me show you guys what's new. We got some exciting stuff. Um, here we have X-Terrain Brutal. This sled was available in North America last year. It's um, a few updates here. It's got uh, piggyback shocks, 36 millimeter pistons on the front. They did some updates to the skid, um, just making it a little bit lighter, more more refined. So that's back again in the States. This snowmobile is a 20 inch wide track and absolutely gets it done. Like look at the lug on this thing. This is a snowmobile that we have in the States that uh, not a lot of people probably even know about. So that was here last year. They're bringing it back again. Um, of course we have my favorite sled, the Shredder line. So we have Shredder DS. This is now with a 34 inch ski stance. So um, you can get the Shredder RE, which is what I particularly ride the most. That's still a 36 inch ski stance. Uh, the DS here is a 34. So basically what that does, here, come over here. Basically what that does is it allows that snowmobile to just be a little bit easier to ride um, for those like technical riding and and you know the stuff if you go if you're an avid tree rider this is sled you should look at big time turbo um, available in a 4100 or a 3900 so both track lengths and that three inch track uh, the track has been updated again actually so a little bit lighter track a different the lug design is similar but just kind of optimized and a little bit better so that's the uh, shredder ds 3900 as we see it here and now you guys you guys asked for it and they brought it shredder re 3700 turbo black blacked out this thing looks so sick bergmark rode this at shoot i didn't get to ride it he wouldn't let me touch it he's like you're not good enough for this thing or you know whatever he says but this snowmobile is what a lot of people ask for and this is a for the mountain rider this is a springtime weapon this is a uh, sled that you will have a lot of fun on. Midwest guys, I know, want this thing really, really bad. Comes standard with a two and a half inch track, and uh, I will, I'll have one in the fleet for sure next year, just because of the how playful it is, uh, how fun it is. I mean, Bergmark was riding wheelies downhill on this thing when I was with him. So, really, really sweet snowmobile. A um, few updates on Shredder as well that I didn't touch on with uh, DS. Updated brake reservoir. So what this allows you to do is actually move the, you'll actually be able to move the reservoir in further on the handlebars. So you'll have a little bit better control. For a guy like me, I use my pointer finger and I actually run out of bar bend sometimes to really get that adjustable brake lever in its perfect spot. Um, other than that, this sled's outfitted with a lot of, uh, a lot of features, a lot of, uh, a lot of accessories, skid plate, tunnel bag, all that stuff. But um, still standard. 36, 36 inch uh, or 36 millimeter pistons up front and then the big boys in the back. So the, like, dude, they're like snow cross sled shocks. They're so gnarly um, and uh, a lot of adjustability out there. High speed, low speed compression, rebound adjustment. And on the front, we have our soft, medium, and hard settings for the, um, the front shocks. And then obviously, KYB, Kashima coated, beautiful. They look awesome. We have we have some other models. Um, so here, here at Club, everybody is here. So dealers from all over the world. So there's snowmobiles here that actually we won't see in North America. 
um, kind of like this one. This is a 600 Shredder RE, not available in North America. If you're in North America, you better just be riding a turbo. That's kind of what we got going on here. And now, um, and then like here will be something, but we're about to go to kind of the show where they talk about everything. And uh, this is where the new Rave RE will sit. And I think the new Rave RE is on stage right now, which we're gonna go to here in a little bit. Um, we'll be doing more on this for sure. But in the meantime, we have the Lynx Rave Enduro, not available in the US yet, maybe someday, we never know, but not available in the US, but this is the redesigned um, kind of Rave platform. So it's it's been optimized. It's now in Radian 2, 2 chassis, just like our mountain sleds are. So kind of has that shredder DNA, Rave DNA is all put into the, the new sled here. Um, four headlights, three wasn't enough, so they put four on this bad boy. They can turn them high beam. Oh my God. Colton is blinded behind the camera. And um, yeah, this sled, I honestly don't know a ton about this snowmobile. It's not available here, but it's got 40, is that 46? 46 millimeter pistons up front. Is Colton, is that the same as the Rave? Yeah. Yeah. That's 46. So 46 millimeter pistons up front. Um, it's got the PPS3 suspension in it, just like the Rave. So that's a fully independent suspension that is super, super sweet to see work. You can see it right here. So you can see that the rear arm does not affect the front arm here. So we're fully uncoupled. Then we'll go over to the front. The front arm does not affect the rear arm. So what that kind of allows you to do is it makes the sled do things that a motorcycle does kind of it feels more motorcycle-esque um colton can speak more to that as well but on the shredder it's almost like a semi-uncoupled suspension so that's why that sled kind of feels the way it does um, with the pps like technology and theory behind suspension so you can just ride on the back like that and not affect that front stroke pretty cool um great display here on like how it actually works um man what else we got i mean like this isn't available in the u.s but look at this thing the ranger 69 alpine thing's got a snowboard rack on it light bar 900 ace turbo um i mean dude thing's insane where's the button I'm looking for Where is it? That's a brake for ski resorts when you want to go down something super steep so you don't boil the brakes. Crazy. Um, you fit. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I honestly don't really know anything about the snowmobile, but it is just a sight to see in true Lynx fashion. It's really cool to see what they do in, you know, not in the US, right? We only see a small product line from them. So it's cool to see these snowmobiles here um, on display for us to kind of look at. Another cool one is the, this is like, this is one I'd love to see in North America, to be honest. It's a cool, this is a Commander RE. So it's got full, like piggyback suspension on it. It's wide track, so 20 inch wide track, just like a cruiser, 900 ace turbo in it. So it's kind of the work like play snowmobile. Like you can you can get some stuff done with this and along with the Brutal. Those are kind of those units that are pretty special for that kind of stuff, but it's all super cool. Stoked to be here. Um, let's just go walk for a second. Let's see what else we got. Obviously all the clothing's here as well. Freaking Ribby over here, look at that dude. Jason Ribby, Lynx Ambassador, BC Extraordinaire, or as Andreas calls him, yeah, yeah. Jason. Jason Ribby, dude's a shredder. Um, literally, rides a shredder, is a shredder. You can see kind of in the background too, guys, we got like XPS is here, so that's like the BRP oils and lubricants and all that stuff. Oh, dude, I, I did make it, check this out. Yo, Lynx Active Wear. 
we did a fun little shoot with this stuff right here. And uh, yeah, they called your boy, dual sport athlete. That was a fun one, but. Um, and then we got Bergmark over here, all the Lynx clothing. It's, uh, it's cool. So we'll see more from me. That's probably it. Colton, how long have we been recording? Oh, nine and a half minutes. Nine and a half minutes? Is there anything else we should show? Ooh, I don't know. I think you got it. Yeah, we got it. We got it pretty well covered here in the Lynx booth. Um, now we got to sneak on stage. And now we got to now we got to sneak around. <laughs> I don't even know if we're allowed up Dude, there. Dude, I don't know where we're allowed. Yeah, so go we, until they tell us to stop. Yeah, we got back here though, and, uh, just kind of hanging out. And had some bigger plans here. We're in Houston. I flew in, lost my luggage. Got my luggage 20 minutes ago. I was stinky. Didn't have a change of clothes. It didn't have any of my gear to, to shoot with, but uh, now we're back. Look at that thing one last time. All right, thanks guys. I probably missed some stuff. Leave questions in the comments below and I'll see you later.